Hey guys, so the big announcement. Remember, this was the week of announcements. The biggest one is we get the full Ixlan. Every single rare and mythic has been spoiled. All of them. You might say it's been leaked. You might say that it has been obtained in a non-great way. But we have every single rare and mythic and it's being translated and you can go to mythicspoilers.com to take a look. I will show you some of the more interesting ones, but every single mythic or rare, and those are the most valuable ones because we all know uncommons outside Fatal Push are pretty much meant, and commons are really meant for drafting. Every single one has been spoiled. Now, this is an absolute disaster. I don't get cards to preview, but all the people who were going to get cards to preview for this set no longer have them. How did this come to be? Well, it looks like a printer or somebody who works at a printer or someone has a connection at a print shop was able to take home a foil copy, a foil uncut sheet of magic cards. Now, you might argue that this is pretty criminal, and it is. You might argue that this will destroy excitement for the new set, and it will because it's so... Some people might say Wizard of Coast Conspiracy is doing this, but there's no way because this is tank. This will tank the set in terms of hype. There's no hype left. We know every single rare and mythic in this set, which is insane. It's just so crazy right and this is the low resolution which has already been translated you should have kind of figured out that magic players would have magnified each single every single card and then translated them the set looks okay i mean it looks just okay i'm sure that we will get higher resolution again it's not like he took a sheet of paper from a factory no no this piece of paper is home with him he took it home with him Wizard of Coast has a lot of serious issues. First of all, I did not know they were printing. A lot of how they print and when they print uh, was kept secret. Now it is known. They print new sets way in advance. So we don't even have Hour of Devastation yet. And they're playing. They're printing Axlon. Did not know that. Uh, probably makes sense, right? But I assume they created a set and held it looked at the meta and saw if any of these problems were problematic but now this kind of explains how guardian slipped is they're printing these cards super early and when a print run is done even if they realize it's a mistake via playtesting then it's too late and we have all these bans so it's not instantaneous printing it is more like we're going to print a set ahead not well actually two sets ahead Next, one of the other biggest problems they're facing is the print quality, as discussed, has gone down. The print shop is not doing a great job, and now there are leaks from the actual shop. So it's very easy to identify who this would be. It's someone with access to, obviously, <laughs> these cards super early. It's someone with access to uncut sheet, which is not that many people. Not that many people own these to begin with. And someone at the fact, someone who has enough cunning or I'm assuming senior level that they can take it home with them. Yeah, Wizard of the Coast has to make some type of announcement. Uh, this is already out there. One of the worst things they can do is ignore it. Uh, they need to say, hey, whoever did this did a, you know, is going to get sued. They're going to get punished, blah, blah, blah. And it's, the, it's an entire set. Like, it's crazy. I can't imagine, right? Like when we get some dragon cards, they kind of filter in and out, but we're not getting a whole deck. We're getting every single rare and mythic and people will say, this is fake. You're not gonna fake this. It's too hard to fake, right? It's just too hard to fake every single card. I mean, if you could fake an entire set of rare and mythics, which of course would just hire you as on a design team because that's incredible. But anyway, some of the Bella cards, we have a legendary Vampire Cleric. Hopefully Vampire C 
some play, although they didn't see any Oath of the Gatewatch, Draina will actually rotate out. Whenever one or more non-token vampires you control attacks, create a 1-1 white vampire creature token with lifelink. So tokens are pretty good. And we also, interestingly enough, have vampires in this set of Atlantis and dinosaurs. It's, uh, <laughs> it's interesting. One of the other things to know is all the planeswalkers in this set are legendary. Not just Jace, so it is kind of a change. Uh, we have Rebuke for in double blue. Man, I love this type of card. Return all non-land permanent tar target player controls to that owner's hand. It's a one-sided board effect. By this time on turn six, or assuming you have six mana on turn eight, you can just tempo them out from the game because you can counter whatever you're putting back into your hands. Slash also just making sure that they don't your board positioning is very well. But overall, very good card. A little expensive, but good nonetheless. I'm going to try to go over as many of them as I can, but obviously you can imagine every single rare <laughs> slash mythic has been spoiled. Crazy. Dead Eye Tracker, Human Pirate. So we get a lot of pirates. One in a black. Tap it. Uh, tar exile two target cards from a opponent's graveyard. Dead Eye Tracker Explores. Not only do we get every single card, we get every single mechanic. Unless the mechanic is on the uncommon, which is only, which is not that, you know, it's not going to happen, right? You want the mechanics, the new mechanics to be on rare slash chase mythics. Reveal the top card of your library. Put that card. Okay, next card. Sunverge Invocation, five in a red, our typical Phoenix card. Enchantment, whenever you cast a spell from your hand, reveal the top X cards of your library. Where X is the spell's converted mana cost, you may cast a card revealed this way with converted mana cost X or less without paying the mana cost. Kind of cool. Not exactly a Phoenix card. Uh, the image seems to be a Phoenix. But uh, overall, I like the set. It's very creative. The artwork from the pixels look good. And pirates, vampires, dinosaurs, like what else do you want? No zombies though, and I don't believe there's any goblins yet. Ooh, this is interesting. X double white instant. You gain twice X life. Put Sanguine Sacrament on the bottom of its owner's library. Life gaining has become a lot more popular. This art is a little creepy, even pixelated. But I don't know if you want to... I mean, let's say you pay 7, you gain 10 life. Like, that doesn't sound great to me. If you pay... Free, you gain six. Uh, you, you pay five, you gain six life. Oh, okay, that's really not a great card. Uh, Togoff's Honor Guard, one in a white creature, human soldier. One, two creatures entered in the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. Very good sideboard card, and very, very good against some decks in modern. Not against the number one deck, Death Shadow, but. Against some other decks that rely on trigger, enter the trigger abilities like Kitchen Finks and things of that nature, it's not bad. Overall, like these, the set is very good. I just have to like think about it for a moment because there's so much, right? When we get cards spoiled, it's one by one. It's not like, oh, hey, this is everything. Digest. And when we get like the final card spoiled, they're like really crappy cards. That I don't really want to make videos on. But here, like, I'm trying to figure out what's a good card. What's the what's not a good card? Agaraz Marauders. Free double red creature human pirate. If a creature you control deals damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage instead. It is a 4-4. Four, four. So, yeah. I mean, it is a pirate. It's a typical pirate. I hope it's not. Yeah, it looks like a rare the artwork looks really cool. We got pirates in blue. We got pirates in red. This it's five. No, oh, okay. And then we get the dinosaurs in green. Verdant Sun's Avatar, free double green. Whenever Verdant Sun's Avatar or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. I don't know. Maybe they will print a card where it says you win the game if you gain X amount of life in a turn. That would be kind of cool, and then you could play around that. But limited, a 5-5, five, five, 
which will gain you five life and then accumulate life gain is just so hard to deal with. Like a five five is already hard enough to deal with, but a five five that gains five life and gives everything else, maybe your bigger creatures like the come and play life gain is pretty good. Herald of the Seven Servants. Want two and a blue. We do get lots of merfolks here. Creatures you control get with a plus one plus one counter on them. Can't be blocked. It's a two free. Very cool. I mean, it is just assassin merfolks all day. And that is how merfolks should be. None of this, you know. I mean, merfolks haven't been good in a while in standard, actually. They haven't been in standard in a while. And modern, they're just so so. Uh, next, we're going to take a look at another dinosaur. It's a 2 free flyer, creatures your opponent control, enter the battlefield tapped. Kind of like a weaker Philia, to be honest. Philia is much better in this case, but C is legendary, and maybe there are dinosaur pump cards, which this can be part of. But they were really serious when they said they were going to print dinosaurs. Because there are a lot of dinosaurs in the set. I thought it was like a joke. Maybe it was like, you know, a joke. But now I see that it is not a joke. And there are just plenty of dinosaurs. Uh, Rebel and Riches. So I kind of want to know what the announcement Friday would be. Because I don't think any other announcement can trump the fact that every single card has been spoiled down to a T. I mean, what type of announcement would... To trump that like it's just so funny to me or not funny it's kind of sad but also a little questionable how this even happens right if wizard of coast is so adamant about stopping leaks punishing leaks how does something like this happen oh, time and time again like it's something that is both amazing and sad but mostly sad um I'm trying to look. Do we have Veraska? Do we do we know Veraska is in this set, and we just don't have her yet? It looks like we don't have Veraska or Jace translated yet, but I'm almost certain that we will get them soon. It looks like we have this other Carnage Titan Tyrant. Well, okay. Uh, evaporating Melody X Double Blue Instant Gain Control of Target Creature with Converted Mana Cost X. This is weaker because most times the control magic is two and a two blue and you get any creature you want yes they can disenchant it but it's only four bloodstained paladin vampire knight free in a black bloodstained paladin enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it for each creature that died this turn flash mm. vampires need some help to become more of a strong tribe but this is not it they need like better cheap drops. They need to be an aggro deck, like a zombie deck, but faster. Because they have less, re they cannot come back from the grave. So they have to be faster than a zombie deck. Otherwise, a zombie deck is just going to be straight up better because it has recursion. Yeah, so I guess we also, there's talk about a red planeswalker as well. And a two mana planeswalker. So we will get those translated soon enough, I'm certain of. Literally, this guy has every single card in his room or his home, and he's slowly and steadily uploading them, it's just like any Magic player. I mean, it's a typical Magic player, right? Instead of sending, like, spending the time to make high-quality photos of each card, he is just slow rolling it. But it is astonishing that people can actually make out the text on these cards by magnifying them and guessing. I mean, look at this one. Orc Pirate. Oh, Taihana, Voice of Wonder. Legendary Creature Merfolk. Like, how did they translate this? It's like half a card. Um, you have no maximal hand size. Whenever it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each creature you control. Wow, that's very good. Very good as a commander. But how does, like, someone translate this? I mean, yeah, I guess this one's a little more obvious, but some of them literally are, like, half a card. And people have blown them up, and then they have translated them, and now we have pretty much the entire set. We are missing the Planeswalkers, so I'm not sure why people are not translating them yet. Maybe because they're too blurry, but they've done better with less. 
So next, Haven Raptor, it's a dinosaur. It has tough. Whenever Haven Raptor is dealt damage, draw a card and that will be tough. So not only do we have every rare mythic, we have every single mechanic. Not of the next set, Hour of Devastation, but of the next next set. Heads are going to roll, people are going to lose their jobs, and Wizards of the Coast to come out with an announcement because this has this is an epic disaster on a scale that I it's not I cannot imagine the scale of this disaster. It's that bad. Anyway, it's a nightmare. It's got to be it's a nightmare for Wizards of the Coast who's now a GP Vegas. Um, it seems like every time like cards are spoiled, maybe by design, Wizard of the Coast is somewhere traveling and they don't have time to respond to it. They need to respond to this, like now. Anyway, bye guys.